Hello? Is it safe to come out now? Are all the scary people with their torches and pitchforks gone yet? Uh, okay, I'm coming out. I am completely unarmed. Well, kinda. Please disregard the giant cane on my back. Well, it looks kinda safe. I don't seem to see any of the angry mob anymore. So, hey there viewers and wait, what was that? I'm hearing voices. The voices are back. No, 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 no. Let me in, 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 let me in the damn butt. No. Why did that break? That was not supposed to break. Uh, hey, hey guys, how's it going? Did you think you could get away with it? Somebody hold them down. Uh, d don't kill me. I mean, I'm, I'm back. Look, look, beer. You guys like beer, right? Look, you guys want beer. You want, you want beer? Follow the beer. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But hey, there's more beer where that came from. You want the beer? Follow the beer. Follow the beer. Go get the beer! Please don't kill anyone. Please don't kill anyone. Okay, good. Now, hopefully they don't find out that those beer bottles were actually empty until they get there. And if they do come back, I just realized they're probably going to be even more pissed at me, aren't they? But if they do come back, I am well prepared because I've got cardboard and I'm not afraid to use the cardboard. Oh yes, it may have been 14 months, but we still remember how powerful this stuff can be. I am not afraid to use it. But, like I said, it's been quite a while since the last upload, and even longer since the last episode of Infamous 2, about 14 months, so I'm sure a lot of you have been wondering what exactly has been going on, but that's for a different video, one I'm going to be uploading as soon as this set of Infamous 2 is uploaded. But since it's been so long since the last set of videos, and that last set was just me liberating the first island, today we're going to stick strictly to the story missions. So, let's just get this party started, shall we? Oh, what's up, Zeke? Guys, what's up? Oh, man! You showed up just in time. What a bad way here, brother. Bad way? I thought we found a cure for the plague. Hell, there ain't no cure. You're everybody in Flood Town's dying of it. Look, all we're trying to do here is ease their pain before they check out. Only trouble is, anyone trying to pass through a town gets jumped before they can reach us. Damn swamp monsters. I set up some new defenses around the camp. We ain't got near enough juice to get them going. Hoping you could help us with that. No, I'm gonna sure as hell try. Here we go. Something out there just tripped a motion sensor. You ready to get to it? I'm on my way. Oh, Zeke, baby. I'm more than ready. In fact, before I started recording, I actually did a little bit of... Why is it behind us? And He, po he pointed us this way, and it's behind us. Okay, well, actually, in fact, before I started recording, I did a little playtesting to try and reacclimate myself with the controls. Getting close. Good. You're looking for the spotlight. I mounted on the roof. This thing. Alright, found it. Now, what the hell do I do with it? Shine it on swamp monsters and burn them to dust. What else? You do know the spotlight. I do know that. Very aware of that. However, it's a killer UV spotlight. Oh, dude. I'm calling it the Dunbar Beam. Shine it on swamp monsters, and you get crispy critters. Anyone else just gets a nice golden brown tan. Maybe a touch of the melanoma, but hell, they're sick already. Oh man, that's the alarm on the west side! I'm down, I'm on it. That's actually pretty cool. But like I was saying, I actually did a little bit of screwing around before I started recording just to get myself reacclimated with the controls. And what's funny is that it seems as though my playstyle has drastically changed from the last time we did this game. And I don't know if it's because we're in an entirely different area, or if it's because since it's been so long, I've adapted a different playing style. Then again, it was also only against like one or two enemies, so... Don't really know how well that new style is going to fare against an entire horde of enemies. Oh man, see, this spotlight kicks ass. Yeah, that is a pretty cool you mean spotlight. the Dunbar beam? I'm not doing <laughs> That is extremely powerful too, man. Why isn't he dead? Die, thank you. Oh god, there's more. Yeah, pay attention to the mini-map. There we go. There's some out there as well. Sadly, you can't get them when they're underground. I mean, it's kind of funny that Zeke now has these inventions. It kind of reminds me that this is a Sucker Punch game, and if, Sly if Cole McGrath is supposed to play the part of Sly Cooper, 
And if now Zeke is supposed to play the role of Bentley, makes you wonder who's supposed to be the Murray. We got more bogeys on the way. Oh, I see him up there. There's a lot coming from the West. Because the only other characters we're really encountering on a regular basis would be Quo or Nyx, and I'm pretty sure that you don't really want to be comparing either one of them to a fat hippo. That's an easy way to get yourself slapped. And yes, I saw that blast shard. I'm not going for it. Why? Because I have kicked that addiction. I've gone to the AA meetings. I am 14 months sober. I mean, I remember what it was like to be addicted to those shards. And that's a lifestyle I refuse to go back to. Oh god, they're everywhere. That is really awesome, though. I love that. That is a kick-ass invention. It just goes to show you that this game does not reuse missions like so many other games would. Constantly unique. Very innovative. And it seems like it's also doing more damage when you're zoomed in as opposed to just the regular overall view. Which is pretty nice. Now, where's that last one at? Oh, he's behind the pillar, though. Can I actually reach him? Um, oh, there he is. Got him. I do have to admit, though, the ice launch thing... I'm seeing the practical uses for it. Now that I'm in this new area with the water everywhere, I can see why people were constantly praising it as opposed to the fire... What was that? The phoenix ability? I can see why. And we're back to this one again. I'm starting to wonder if he maybe should have done a little bit more reinforcements on this side, because all the enemies seem to be coming from the west. Maybe put some more traps down. I don't know what else he could have done. But I mean, if he could invent this, this UV ray weapon, then I'm sure he could have created some sort of traps for these guys. It did not have to be manned. Hey, but hey, that's just me thinking out loud. I'm not the super genius here who was able to come up with a tuning fork as a weapon. Where's he coming from? I saw the eggs getting thrown, I just could not see him. One more, maybe. These Ravengers are toast compared to this thing. Zeke, you know, you're beginning to make up for the thing you did in the end of Infamous 1. Damn it! There's just too many of them. Hang in there, Cole. Save as many as you can. We're counting on you. I'm just having fun going back and forth. This is an awesome little mini game. Uh, we're gonna go to this one. It's hard to decide. But I think there are more people on this side, too. Save the civilians! Hopefully there's no timer on this, and I don't need to rush. Um, come on. I need some enemies. I, I am kind of worried that there might be a timer. It's not acting as though there is one, but who knows. And I see some more enemies to the west as well. Crap. That could be bad. I missed one! And he could be the one to kill Zeke. We don't want that happening. I mean, who knows what else Zeke could invent. Who knows, maybe he'll eventually come up with an upgrade for this tuning fork that we use. See, I'm still kind of confused as to how that stick is actually useful to us. This, however, is an awesome invention. The tuning fork, eh, not so much. Come on. Guys, this ain't working. Done all you could out there, Cole. Fall back to the camp. Maybe if we all rally together, we can still save this place. Oh, God. See, now why am I the only one manning this? I mean, it's not as though it actually needs a lot of electricity. It looked like it was running fine without me. Because it's not actually sapping any of my electricity. So anyone could be using it. Let that general guy use it. Oh, crap. Um... Turn your loins, brothers! Here they come! 
Oh, there's one right here. Now we gotta protect Zeke. Oh god. They were a lot closer than I thought they were. Sorry, man. This is my your own. I can't get them all. Protect Zeke get and the back. fat guy. Um, Zeke is kind of fat himself, but protect the other fat guy. Now watch. We didn't have enough throw. Now here's a question. Aside from those monsters, does it also work on those little ice guys? Because it seems like they're an entirely different class of enemies. I wouldn't think that it would work. And in fact, those guys kind of jumped away from it. Maybe it doesn't work on them. Okay, Zeke, you might have to fight some of these guys yourself, because I don't, I don't see them no more. They're right under here. Screw it. Wait, where are they? Um, hello. Please don't tell me they went underneath the map. Maybe they're on this side of the thing. Yeah, there they are. Oh, there's one at least. Camping out. Yeah, that doesn't work. And then two more. There they are. Going in the water is not a smart idea. Just for the record. Thankfully, friendly fire is not on, otherwise that fat guy would have been dead there. Hey! Hey, thanks a lot! You guys are alright! We don't want your thanks. We want your blast core. Is he flying? Y'all got a blast core? I was gonna tell you. Man! We should have died, give it to you freaks! We accept your terms. Hey, that's choice of words, Zeke. Holy cr- Those guys look a lot different close up. Oh god! He's got laser beams! Please, please tell me this thing actually works on him. Where'd he go? Nope, don't work on him. It doesn't melt his ice either. Get to high ground. Okay, that didn't work either. And I cannot steal his little thing either. Crap, man. Where'd he go? Oh. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Is that it? Or do I gotta get that guy far over there? Are we done, Zeke? I mean, the music's kinda changed. Okay, maybe they do want me to go get this guy, too. He's all the way over there, really? That's not him. How far off is he? Really? Did he just, like, run away or something? He's inside the building. Wow. Bye-bye! Wow. Oh, man, he's strong. Don't miss! Yes. <laughs> yeah! Boom! 143 enemies, 140 of which were, were done here. thanks to the light. Oh, you and your partner did some real good here tonight. Right, that blast core is yours. After you do me one more itty bitty little favor, we'll talk again. Oh. I love that light. That is awesome. Thank you, Zeke. Another mission! Screw the side- you know, today, like I said, we're not doing any side missions today, it's strictly main mission day. So we're jumping right into the next one. Not getting any blast shards, nothing. It's the demon! The demon! The demon of Empire City! Oh okay. wow, really? Whoops. I guess my fighting style hasn't changed that much after all. I still die. Quite often. That was cheap, though. I was trying to use the grenade to kind of distract one guy while I went after the other one, but I didn't think my health was that low. Um... Blast Shard? No, it's, it's been 14 months since my last Blast Shard. I thought I, I've, I've kicked the addiction. My name is Zach. And I'm 14 months without a blast shard. What, what could it hurt, though? I mean, right? I mean, 
It's just one blast shard. Just one. It's not, it's not like I'm going to relapse just by having one blast shard, right? I mean, people, they're able to indulge themselves little by little. Eh, right? Oh, that felt good.